Hello everyone, it's been a while since I made a video about Soul Knight prequel because I couldn't think of any ideas. Today, I think many of you might already know about this idea, but I still believe there are many who don't, so I'll guide you all. And today's video will be about tips for farming chips to quickly get level 7, all round, square, and triangular chips, chips and how to use holokies for maximum efficiency. I also want to be honest with everyone that I have very few chips because I don't have much time to play. By the way, I want to advertise that I offer game boosting services for all types of games. So if anyone needs this service, please contact me. Alright, let's get into the content of the clip. First, I'll talk about how to use holokies for maximum efficiency. Now, with my calculation level at 57, I can play at level 73. However, there will be some maps at level 73 that are extremely difficult, while others will be easier to navigate. In these three new maps, when you encounter a boss, you will be extremely vulnerable. Therefore, you should avoid attacking in these areas. Pay attention to the chest tier, the rewards you receive depend on it. So, choose maps that are easier to win but offer the same or better rewards. For example, when my calculation level was 54, I could only play at level 69, and I chose the Southern Steps map to farm because its rewards were greater than the other two areas and it was easier as well. In this area, there will be some extremely difficult maps if you're playing the Poison class. For example, this map is resistant to poison, so you can't deal much damage. This map has damage reflection, and this map has three bosses that deal burst damage. There are also some other maps I haven't tested yet. In this area, there is one boss that is very difficult to defeat. You should choose these other bosses instead because they deal less damage, making it easier for you to win. Let me show you as proof. This boss defeated me to the point where even after respawning, I still couldn't survive. And here is a boss that is easier to kill, even though it is also level 73 and the rewards are the same as the other boss. Oh, one small tip is that if you don't have high level chips as desired, you should prepare a set of equipment with the highest level chips you have. Then, when you reach the boss, switch back to the equipment with the chips you want. For example, I don't have a level 6 dummy chip, so I use a level 6 blink chip and switch to the level 5 dummy chip when I reach the boss. Alright, now if you need a fate bound chip, you should choose a weapon with the fate bound you need to cybermod. However, to be sure, you should choose a tier 0 weapon, meaning it only has one fate bound. Although the chip level will be low, it will be 100% certain. I have already made a guide on how to farm weapon chips. As for skill chips, you can cybermod all your armor pieces, helmet, chest, and boots. If you have plenty of SO, you can even use it with S-tier equipment to ensure a higher level.
If you cyber mod the helmet, you'll get left branch skills, for the chest, you'll get right branch skills, and for the boots, you'll get middle branch skills. For necklace and rings, they will give you round shaped chips. If you're lacking in these chips, just cyber mod them all, skill chips and round shaped chips are random and depend on luck, there's no 100% accurate tip to get exactly what you want. So, it's best to use XSSO with S tier equipment to get higher level chips. To farm weapon chips quickly, you should choose the normal difficulty level and head straight to the shop. Then, perform the shop reset trick to buy as many weapons with one fate bound as you need. Each time you do this, you'll get about 45 to 90 level 1 chips. To get 1 level 7 chip, you need 729 level 1 chips, so you'll need to perform this process around 8 to 16 times to obtain a level 7 chip.